Ladies and gentlemen in this Red Gaming Silicon video, we're going to be discussing the Xbox One and reports of memory dump issues that are connected to user interface slowdown. Now, the premise behind this is fairly simple. After a prolonged period of time of using the console, you'll start to notice that the user interface in the console itself doesn't feel quite so snappy as maybe you would expect it to. So what has happened is that there have been numerous reports now on the internet. Specifically, this started on Reddit, although there have been some other tweets from people in the media as well, and we'll get to those in just a moment, who have reported pretty much the same issue. The premise is pretty simple for one of the intended solutions. If you're having the issue, simply hold down the power button for about 10 seconds. This will pretty much clear the Xbox One's temporary files and then when you switch the machine back on it will be shiny and new and the user further claims that this is a memory dump issue that has actually been reported. Another suggestion is that you can actually change the power settings to power saving. The purpose behind this is that if you switch off your console it won't just go to hibernate or standby, whatever. It will actually be a full shutdown. So when you shut down the system and then you power it back on a couple of minutes later or whenever, the stuttering should theoretically be gone. Chris Ziegler, meanwhile, who works at The Verge, is actually one of the managing editors. He's actually said, and I quote, My Xbox One's UI basically stop motion animation now. Time to relent and do a hard power cycle. Is this going to be a regular thing? Meanwhile, Bearded Murph has said, and I quote, Once again, I have to unplug my Xbox One because the UI was chugging at one frame per second. Xbox One's OS is tiles of hot garbage, end quote. By the way, guys, uh, I just realized I forgot to mention at the start of the video, if you could hear a little bit of background noise on this video, the audio quality isn't quite up to the standards you'd expect. I can only apologize. What's basically the cause is that my PC case is open. In fact, half the parts are hanging out right now while I'm recording because I'm basically changing around some components of my system and I haven't had time to put all of it together, but I obviously need to do recording. So I can only apologize, it will go back to normal in the next day or two. In fact, it's actually so bad, I don't even have editing software installed, and I have to basically ask uh, a master to edit the video for me. So yeah, anyway, now I've got that embarrassing um, tip bit out there. I'd like to also point more um, information in your direction. So basically, this is not something that every single Xbox One user is experiencing. I want to clarify that right now. Now, as I said, not all gamers are reporting the issue. Some are saying it's absolutely fine, no problems at all, it's rosy and shiny. Others are saying that it's pretty consistent. You know, they constantly have the problems. now. I am uncertain why this is happening and why some users are reporting it. It's possible that some users are more sensitive to it than others. However, with how atrocious these users are reporting their performance, I mean, just a couple of frames per second on the UI, that doesn't really seem like something you could miss. It's not something that I think anyone could just be like, oh, okay, well, my UI is running on one frame a second. I'm sure, you know, everything's going smoothly and wonderfully. No, of course not. So it's possible it's something to do with either the length of time that the users are playing, it's possible that it's a combination of the apps that are being run, or something different. Maybe a combination of different software. Now the Xbox One, as you're aware, does have 8 gigabytes of RAM. However, a large portion of that, about 3 gigabytes, is actually reserved for OS functionality. Now, how this is basically working is that there's a second operating system, well there's actually three operating systems, one is the control OS, the hypervisor basically, which is pretty much telling the other two what to do. Now one OS is for the games and the second one is for applications. 
So what's basically happening here is you've got three gigabytes of RAM plus the swap files of various other bits and pieces that we don't completely know yet. We do know that the Xbox One has, for example, flash memory. But once again, Microsoft haven't released all of the information to the public, so I can only make some guesses. Obviously, some of this is definitely fact. Other parts are some supposition on my part. So, you know, there you have it. So what it seems to be is a combination of different, a myriad of different factors that is causing this. Now, I've heard quite a lot of criticism already. I mean, let's face it, if you've just plonked down the better part of like 500 or whatever for your system, $500, and, you know, you're having issues, people are getting pretty pissed. Fortunately for the Xbox One, this can likely be all resolved with a console update. Now, I'm sure Microsoft are aware of the issue. Um... And so they're probably trying to figure out why exactly it's, you know, happening. Now, don't get me wrong, pretty much all consoles, at least modern consoles, have had problems with their OS. That's not to say that, you know, they were perfect, uh, sorry, you know, unusable, unusable, God, I can't speak suddenly, unusable or anything, but, you know, there's been slight hiccups. The original Xbox 360, if I remember correctly, it had some problems on launch, it the UI wasn't super snappy, that type of thing, but they improved that over time. Obviously, however, this is not that type of problem. This is a problem of, it looks like, anyway, memory management. Um, and it looks like, basically, the memory is just not clearing itself, so in other words, the, maybe the files are getting clogged up, maybe it's something completely different. Whatever it is, there's certainly an issue that's going on there. Um, the reports are slightly scattered at the moment. I've done some Googling, and there are different theories that are popping up. Regardless, all I can say, if you're having the problem right now, the best option you can do is basically hard switch off your system, hold down the power button for 10 seconds, you know, unplug the power cord, whatever you've got to do, switch it back on and see if that clears up for you, and hopefully it's not going to be one of those things where, you know, you have to do it every 20 minutes or something. Obviously, I exaggerate, but... You get the idea. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully you're not one of those affected. If so, hopefully Microsoft release an update soon. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.